How are you doing out there? This is Keno Thomas, and uh, this video is for all my ASTB uh, <laughs> Accu. I was about to say some Accu, some applicants. Applicants. This is for my, all my ASTB applicants. A little tongue tied today, but that's okay. We're going to get through this. Uh, this question is from Alex from Tokyo. He's going to be taking the ASTB next month, and he is having a little problem in the study guide. Um, and he wanted me to help him out with it. So here we are. In a four hour examination of 420 questions, there are 60 mathematics problems. If twice as much time is allowed for each mathematics problem as for each of the other questions, how many minutes should be spent on mathematic problems? Okay, I posted this bef before we got to this point. So you can go back if you need to. Um, yeah, let me just get a feel for my real estate there. Okay. All right, so what's given? They're telling us that we have four hours, which is 240 minutes total. All right. Another thing that's given is we have 420 questions. 60 of these are math questions, so that represents about one seventh. Why do I say one seventh? Because if I multiply uh, six times seven, um, then we will get 420. All right, so one seventh of this, and this is just a little stuff that I kind of look at when I'm analyzing questions. So we have 60 math problems, we have 60 math problems, then. 360 and I'll just put a D here for what we've deduced uh, so if we have 60 math questions we have 300 regular not math I'm getting stuck on math I'm stuck on math y'all regular questions so that these two numbers equal 420 because they said hey 60 these are math total 420 so that so I deduced that 360 of these are regular questions so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just set up a little small table 60 math questions and I will put 360 on the top 360 regular reg will represent regular okay so we'll let X represent an unknown number of minutes Okay, we don't know how many minutes, but we do know that twice as many minutes is allotted for the mathematic problems as per the question. So I'm going to set up an equation. All right, we know that we have 240 minutes. So I'm going to make an equation that states make the mathematical statement 2x plus x is equal to 240 minutes. And I'm talking like a pilot, two, four, zero minutes. <laughs> so, 3x, which is 2x and x combined, is going to be equal to 240 minutes. x is going to be, uh, if we divide both sides by 3, x is going to be equal to 80 minutes. 80 minutes is going to be the amount of time dedicated to the regular question. So we come back up here and we will put 80 minutes here. And if two times the amount of double amount of time is allotted for math questions, then 160 minutes is going to what's going to be allotted for the math. And 160 plus 80 is going to equal 240 minutes, 240 minutes. So 160 is the answer because the answer is asking how much time is going to be allotted for math questions 160 minutes all right so what that means is if we just looked at it per hour if we broke this down per hour in an hour we're gonna need 40 minutes for math problems and 20 minutes for regular problems all right so we need to be knocking down total 60 math questions 
just to finish, we need 15 per hour. 15, one, five questions per hour. I just broke it down a little bit more. And there's really, it's pretty simple. I really don't need to uh, test it. If I plug in, you know, um, 80 minutes is what we came up with. We, we just, we just kind of justified that 80 minutes is X for regular questions, 160 minutes for uh, the math questions. Um, and this is in minutes. These are minutes, 40 minutes, 20 minutes. When we think of it on an hour per hour. So that's how much time we have for math. 15 questions need to, mathematical questions need to be done per hour. After one hour, it's 15. After two hours, it's 30. After three hours, it's 45. And then 60 after the fourth hour, which we'll complete. And there will be no um, time to double check. If we just gave every question a specific time that it gave us, like uh, 80 minutes for regular questions and 160 for math questions, there will be no more time. So you would actually need to do more than 15 per hour if you're going to allow your time, yourself time to double check your work. So um, I hope I didn't stretch that out too much, but I just wanted to give you a logical, clear approach and testing. I'm a big believer in testing. And, and testing your work so you know that you know that you're right nobody can tell you you're wrong so again um, if you guys have more questions just send them to me I will execute them for you and you maybe Alex in Tokyo may not be a, the only person with that same study guide having a problem with this question and this is why I try to form and build I'm building a community send me your emails so I can send you my videos and stuff like that. So collectively, we can all build together um, collectively and, and, and get really, really good scores and, you know, get the uh, jobs that we want uh, in the aviation field uh, in the United States Navy. And, you know, um, I guess I'm going on not a really a rant, but just uh, send me questions. I'll do them. It's not a problem. Kino Thomas with the ASTB Prep. I'd like to thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if this video helped and tell everybody about me, please. Thanks for watching.